Hi everyone. In this short video I will go over all the buttons in the options menu. And you can get to this menu by clicking here. The first option deals with group mode, which is the icon here. In Flopzilla, if you want to work in group mode, so that a pie chart is available, then you can use this switch button here. If you always want Flopzilla to be in group mode when it starts up, then turn this option on. The same applies to the multiway mode switch. You can use this switch to use Flopzilla for multiway calculations. If you always want Flopzilla to be in multiway mode when it starts up, then turn this option on. And this switch will make more hidden options available at the bottom of the menu. If you always want this option at startup, then use this option here. If Flopzilla's window is too bright for you, then you can enter a dim value here, between 0% and 100%. If you enter 100%, then the interface will switch to dark mode. And you can set the intensity of dark mode with this slider. If you're using custom statistics, then the name field may not be large enough for the custom names that you want to use. You can increase the size of the name field with this option by using a value between 0% and 100%. With Draw Hints, you can toggle hints when mousing over certain fields in the interface. For example here. With these options you can turn on certain optional statistics, namely one card vector flush draws and a no flush draw statistic. And the statistics will be added to the list. Finally, if you have created a custom statistic, for example bottom pair plus flush draw, And you always want this statistic to be shown, even when Flopzilla is closed and restarted. Then in the options menu, click on Store current filter settings as default. Generally, you always want to only store the currently visible filters. And accept. And that should cover all items in the options menu.